Now, I typically start my videos off with a verbal hook to entice the viewer, but I think this teaser for Levis Lear more than makes up for it. If you want to learn how to make heads roll, stay tuned. What's up, survivalists? It's Che from Team WJ here to enhance your Minecraft animations to tell your stories. If you're new here, I make Minecraft animation tutorials every Monday, so make sure you subscribe and hit that bell icon to not miss any uploads. If you're not, welcome back. In this tutorial, we'll be going over how to decapitate heads and detach other limbs. Let's get started. For this tutorial, I'll be using my FMR Animate Rig. FMR Animate is a free update to the traditional FMR5 rig that adds over 20 new updates, and you can download it for free by clicking this link up here or in the description down below. So we're gonna start off by detaching his head. Import your rig and go into the Layers tab in the Object Manager down here. We're going to unlock the body, unlock the hidden, and make the hidden layers visible. Now for the head, we don't actually need to unlock the body, but I'm gonna do it anyway because I'm going to be detaching the arm later. All we have to do now is open up the rig and find his head. You're gonna notice a little espresso tag, click that, and you're gonna find a little checkbox that says enable. All you have to do is disable that checkbox and the head is free to move. You're also going to notice that next to that checkbox is a keyframe option. This means you can choose when the head pops off. Now onto the limbs. Now this can work for any limb, whether that's arm or leg, but I'll be doing the left arm for this video. Make sure to move the arm into position before you start doing anything. Open up your rig and go into mesh and find your mesh. Select your mesh and hit Ctrl C and Ctrl V. This will copy and paste and duplicate it. Go up to the duplicate and delete the Espresso and Pose Morph tags. Open the duplicate up, select all the children and the parent, right click and select Remove from Layer. So what we've just done is create a static mesh duplicate. What this means is that basically we have an arm that isn't affected by any of the joints. Now it should be fairly obvious what to do next it's to toggle the visibility, but unfortunately you'll notice that for the arms, that's not how it works. If you're detaching the legs, you won't have this problem, so feel free to skip forward. But if you need to toggle the visibility on the arms, scroll up to the base rig and select the body espresso tag. If you've never used espresso before, you may be a bit scared, but don't worry, just stick to what I'm doing for now. Find either the left arm or the right arm, they're right next to each other down here, and delete whichever one you aren't using. Cool, and that basically allows us to toggle between visible and invisible. Now if you click on your object and go to the basic tab, you can see visible in renderer and visible in viewer, and just keyframe it on when you want the switch. Now if you don't know what the switch is, I'll just describe it to you real quick. Basically what we're doing is we're taking the arm that's affected by the rig and we're making that invisible, and on the same frame it becomes invisible, we're making the static mesh become visible. Basically we're replacing the moving arm with a static arm, and that static arm can be moved however you want. If you want to learn more about animation, I heavily suggest checking out my beginners to advanced playlist designed to help you improve your Minecraft animations right here. I also want to thank all my patient supporters on Patreon waiting for the release of Levis Lear. If you want to download this scene or get other cool rewards like exclusive renders or early access, make sure you check out my Patreon page. Patreon is a platform where you can send an amount to donate to me every month. All your donations will go into the development of Levis Lear and sustaining this channel. Don't forget that I also do private one-on-one -on -one calls with my supporters as well. Don't forget to like the video and share it with your friends. Make sure you subscribe and thanks for watching. Cheers!